Hi, this is Karen. I'm with inspiredbygram.com. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm starting my episode one of 2021 craft fair series. And um, last year, um, like many of you out there that follow me, I did not have one single craft fair in 2020 and all because of um, the darn virus COVID-19. So I'm really hoping that in 2021 we'll be um, having craft fairs more towards the fall where I live. I live in the state of Vermont, so um, most of my craft fairs start in September, October, and November. So I've got plenty of time to um, work on my inventory um, besides card making. So um, this is what I'm going to show you how I made today. Um, these are scratch pads that I found at our trusty old Walmart. Um, they come three to a pack. Let me show you. Um, they look like this. They're from Pen and Gear. And they come three to a pack. And they're 88 cents. So at the end of this video, I will um, talk about my pricing. And I'll also show you, I've got 11 other ones that I've already decorated. Um, so I'll give you, you know, some ideas on how you might want to decorate them. All the ones that I did decorate come um, from Celebration Paper from Stampin' Up. This is free paper that I have, I have received when I placed a $50 order um, as a demonstrator. So I love using free product because that um, gives us a better price point um, and profit margin on our products that we create for others to purchase. So I'm gonna show you from start to finish how I created um, one similar to this. The first thing I'll go over is the stamp sets I've chosen for this um, project. I've chosen two, one that's um, new from the, tw and they're both in the annual catalog. One is ridiculously awesome, and the other one is strong and beautiful. All my journals will be using these two stamp sets, uh, most likely because of all the positive and um, just the sentiments in here alone are great stamp sets for craft fair projects. And I do create, a lot of journals um, so um, and decorate lots of journals um, so here's the flower and field designer series paper um, here's berry blossoms and the paper we're going to be using today and working on is paper blooms and we'll be using this one down here the darker um, night of navy color all right so what you're going to need to complete this project is a paper trimmer and i've got the stampin up paper trimmer and I'm gonna use the extension arm. This trimmer has a scoring blade and a cutting blade, so you can't, um, you don't wanna mix those up. So the hardest part on this scratch pad was getting something that is workable with the scratch pads because um, they're four by six, I believe that's the size. Let me just double check here. Um, let's see. Yeah, four by four inches by six inches, but honestly, they're not exactly four by six. So I really struggled with trying to get a, a holder that will work, but I think I've got it. Um, so your cardstock has to be cut nine and three inches. So we've got to turn it this way. This piece is eight and a half by 11. So nine and three eighths. So let me go to nine and then go all the way over to the three eighths. And then I'm just gonna cut this piece off, okay? And then I'm gonna rotate this to six and one eighth. Okay, and then we'll keep that one. We're gonna be using that, that second piece we cut. Now I'm gonna rotate it back. So on the long way is up here. I'm gonna score this one. So I need the scoring blade, which is the lighter blade. Um, and this is another reason why I love the trimmer because both of the blades are on this arm here. So the first score line is going to be at four and one eighth. So I'll just go down and back, and then I'm gonna slide it over to um, four and seven sixteenths. So that's seven tick marks on your ruler here. So two, four, six, seven. It's the one, um, right of four and a half, Let's score down and up. And then the next one is at four and three quarters, down and up. Okay, that's all the scoring we need. And I'm done with the paper trimmer because I've already pre-cut the designer series paper. 
Okay, so we've got this piece. Actually, no, we need the trimmer because um, we need to cut this one down here. But the first thing I want to do is I want to take the two and a quarter circle punch and I'm going to um, tuck this all the way over to the right. And I'm just going to punch that circle out. That's going to be used um, for our backing of our sentiment. And then what I need to do with this piece here, because we need it, I need to trim it down. That goes in the recycle bin. And then I like to use like a one and a quarter inch band. So we'll use this one here. These are two scraps that you can use on something else, but that's all um, the waste I have on this um, cardstock here. All right, so now we're gonna create the holder. You're definitely going to need your bone folder to do this part, because you really need to make um, really nice, strong creases. So I'm just gonna use this and just go up two times. And then there's three here, so I'm gonna pinch it and then just kind of work its way down. And then I'm gonna just use that bone folder. And then one more time on here. And then just down and up. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now you're gonna pinch it in the middle so you have um, the score line and the smaller side is facing you. You wanna rotate it this way. I use my paper snips to do this step because they're really sharp and they can cut right up to that score line, okay? So I'm just cutting a little tab here that's about a half an inch long, so here to here. Okay, then you're gonna open this up just like this. And there's two lines here, okay, separated by what we just cut. You wanna put score tape on the one that is on the um, right side. I use the um, tear and tape here and I'm just gonna add this right here. This is the, this tear and tape is the perfect size for this little track, I'm gonna call it a track. All right, I'm gonna use my bone folder to give it a nice um, press, and then we just need a really small piece here. First, I gotta find out where that is, right there. And then add this here. And I'm just gonna give it a nice burnish because it's easier to peel that backing up um, to, when you do that. All right, so just take my fingernail there to get underneath it and just pull that up. And then this is really important because if you don't do this correct, it's not gonna work. So you wanna fold all the way over to this, this score line right here on the right side, all the way over, okay? So now I can see both of those tracks there. I'm gonna give it another burnish here, really strong. Then I'm gonna use my finger here to push this little tab out here. And this little holder here is to hold the pen. So now we're gonna bring this back just like this. And then again, one more time with that bone folder because you really want this to be really creased down well. All right, so now it kind of looks like a little step, okay? So your pen's gonna go in this here and then everything else will go inside. So that piece that we cut off, um, let's see, I think, I kind of put it over the side there. So we've got this piece here. Now we're gonna work with this. So, um, sorry about that, I got a little sidetracked there because I think I cut the wrong piece. Um, so you want the paper that's long enough to even wrap around here. Because this is a, um, I didn't show you this part. I should have showed it to you, but um, so this comes out like this. So it is um, reusable, which is awesome. Okay, I totally forgot to show you guys that in the beginning, but there you go if you're still with me. All right, so we're gonna create that, um, and that's how it's gonna go. The first thing we need to do is put our paper, designer series paper on this top here. So I have a piece that is four and a sixteenth by two, so four and one sixteenth by two. And the reason why it's not four inches is because sometimes these are wider than four inches. So I like to cut them a little bit bigger and then I'll just snip them off. So again, we're gonna use that tear and tape. I'm gonna add it right to the front here. Just tear it off. Again, use that bone folder, give it a good press, that way it'll peel off easier. And then I'm just gonna add some right here to the back side. 
and then just peel it off. And then again, that bone folder. So I'm gonna take this one off here, the front one. And then I just try to decide which um, paper that the design looks better. So does it look good this way or will it look good this way? I kind of like this little flower here. So I'm gonna have that one on the front so people will see it. And then I'm gonna work, so this is, I line up this edge here and then I get it all the way straight across and then use that bone folder and then I kind of go up like this, use it again like this and then one more time. Okay, just like that. So you got those creases going really nice and then you're just gonna peel off that remaining backing Again, it's, it's so hard to get this off. So sometimes I just like to take that take your pick tool and see how easier that that is with that little tool there. Okay, so let me just put that back there. I'm gonna fold this over and let's give it a nice burnish. Now you can see this pad here is probably four inches. Some of them that I've designed haven't been so um, that's why I go a little bit over so I can trim them down to size. So I'm just using my paper snips to go right around there and I've got a nice little um, side there that's equal. All right, so now we can do this part here. This is the piece that's gonna hold um, your scratch pad into place. All right, so this is just barely um, wide enough to add our tear tape. So I will add it right here. And then just tear it right off. Again, give it a good press. I'm gonna use that take your pick tool because it's so easy. And especially if you don't have fingernails, well, this tool will do it for you. So then let's go bring it right over here. That's good. And then two more pieces of tear and tape. I like to put one up there and then down here because you need something that's gonna be really strong, adhesive. You could use multi-purpose liquid glue, uh, the Tombow brand. Um, you could use Stamp and Seal Plus if you want, um, but um, I'm, I've got the um, tear tape here for the day, and that's what I'm using with this project. So I'm just taking that pointy part of the Take Your Pick tool under there, okay? So now we're gonna add this piece to the holder here. Um, so I'm gonna line it right up over the edge there. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm pushing it all the way over to the edge and I can feel it through my touch of my fingers here and I know it's in place. And then we're just gonna give it a nice burnish on the back side because that this bone folder will make it stick um, a lot better than just you know your fingers there all right so that's that now we can decorate the front of it um, I'm gonna actually stamp first because I want that ink to dry I'm gonna use Night of Navy ink and I'm using one of the sentiments from strong and beautiful it's my favorite one so I've just got some basic white cardstock and I inked it up with Night of Navy ink and then let me just make sure, sometimes that Night of Navy ink um, does not dry as quick as nor, um, my other inks. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait. I don't wanna, want that to smudge. So we're gonna add this piece next. This piece is cut three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Again, that's um, uh, Paper Blooms and that is the designer series paper um, that you can uh, receive for free um, from Celebration. And that's only until February 28th. So if you would like this paper, you'll need to like totally get um, over to my website and um, place your $50 order and then make sure you select that item. So um, as part of your celebration. So what I'm gonna do before I adhere this down, I'm just gonna um, look at it this way and then I'm gonna rotate it and look at it this way. Cause this pattern, you know, pattern papers really doesn't have a, um, 
a directional so I just wanted to see what those images look like to my eyes and I'm just going to add this down and I'm centering, centering it top bottom left and right and give it a good press then what we're going to do is this is the opposite side of the paper balloons paper and that one is cut one by three and seven eighths okay let me just actually add these all over here so you can kind of see and write those down they'll be in the description box as well um, all the dimensions here so I'm just going to add some adhesive there and then I'm going to add this little strip right to the front because this kind of like breaks it up a little bit now we'll t bring these two pieces into the picture I've got my two inch circle punch you guys know me I love punches because it makes craft fair projects so much quicker and easier so I use the two and a quarter inch punch on um, the Knight of Navy cardstock here and then the two inch punch um, so two and a quarter and two inch punches so this is just going to go right on here that Knight of Navy has a nice little border around that white give it a good press from the back side just in case you have ink on your fingers you don't want that to transfer over um, the next step is I'm going to add three Stampin' Dimensionals to the back side of that circle. And then just give them a little press with your thumbnails to um, bend them. And then they come off so much easier when they do that. And then let's bring this one back into the picture here. I'm going to center that sentiment right on the front. Then I'm going to bring in um, the Holiday Rhinestones. These rhinestones come in um, five different colors, and um, this one I've used a lot of them. Um, but I found that these rhinestones here, let me just show you a little bit fuller pack, um, gives you a wide variety of colors, and I can kind of pick and choose what colors I want to embellish. So on the one I showed you earlier, I have some right here, um, three of them on the front of the paper here. Um, that was the... Um, lighter blue color. So what I'm gonna do with these is because this is Knight of Navy um, paper color, I'm gonna cho choose these Knight of Navy um, rhinestones because that way everything will match really nicely. So I'm gonna sprinkle, I like to sprinkle about five of them throughout the front. So that's two. And let me just put one right over here, three. And then we'll add two more to the top, so four and five and then if you really wanted to decorate this a little bit more i'll show you what i've done on some of the other ones i used the small bloom punch and that scrap paper that we had from earlier you can just punch a little bit of one little bloom out there and then to give it a little bit of life what i like to do is i need my stamp and pierce mat that's in my drawer I'm gonna take my take your pick tool, the opposite side, and just give it a nice little press in the middle. Okay, and then um, I'm going to take one of the green, uh, let me do the blue, this blue one right here, that's gonna look fantastic. Okay, added that right there. And then my glue dots, just one is all you need. Just add a glue dot the back of that bloom and then press it down and then just peel it off and then we'll just add this one right let me add it right over here to the side there okay so then the final step is um, some pens I get mine on sale all the time or I'll get them like at the Dollar Tree wherever I can find them um, that they don't cost a lot so I've got a pink one and I've got two shades of blue so um, you just kind of figure out which color would look the best. Um, they all kind of kind of go, kind of not go. Um, I'm going to choose um, this blue one here. Let's just slide it in there. You got to go. You, so with the pens, they have to be a really small barrel to go into that holder there. So that is the one I just created with you guys. Now, um, let me show you the ones that I have already made and then... I'm going to show you how I package them as well. So let me just clear my area here and just bring them right over here. So again, I used all free paper. 
um, that is available in um, for during celebration. So this one is using the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. You got this. That comes from Ridiculously Awesome. And this one's just really, really fun. I love the strawberries. And then here's some blueberries. You got this. This pen color looks really nice. Okay. And then here's some my favorite berries, the um, red raspberries or blackberries, I guess. I like both berries. I like all berries. <laughs> and then here's um, Just Jade. I added the medium daisy punch here. And if you could see, I added Wink Estella to the um, petals that gave it some nice little glitter. So this is another way you can embellish your um, scratch pad holder. And here's some of the really nice rhinestones. So I use the yellow ones here that look really, really nice. And then here's one you have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud. And on the inside there. And then um, this is a really nice one for a mother. God made you my mother, love made you my friend. And then here's this one. I love this one. I love the granny apple green. Um, and this green pen really looks super cute. And then here's um, another um, like Mother's Day type of gift or just um, if you have a, a lady um, in your life that is your mother or acts like your mother, um, this one is really nice to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. And then here's one I used with the Ornate Garden um, Designer Series paper. That paper is in the annual catalog and it's got no lots of nice flowers and daisies on it. And I used the deep green um, shaded spruce color of um, rhinestones there. So to package them, here's one that is already packaged. They look like this and I have my information on the back. So it gives the customer uh, my name, my website, inspiredbygram.com, my email address, and my phone number. So um, if people, um, per when people purchase these, they have my information to give me a call or send me an email um, to um, reorder these as well. So the bags I used, let me just show you. Uh, they, I don't, I don't know what the size is, but they're perfect. What I'm gonna do is I got these on the Amazon and um, I will link um, the item number and I actually just purchased these not too well, long ago. I will um, give you the link to the Amazon um, store where um, you can order these as well if you, if you make these. So um, they just fit perfect. So I'm just gonna peel that off and then roll it over here. Um, I do stamp these with the Stampin' Up! copyright logo. Um, I did not do that step with you, um, but um, after this video, once I get this all done, I'll restamp all of them on the back side. And that way I abide by the um, copyright um, rules of Stampin' Up! So then also I have these other um, labels too. I just have a bunch of them. I use the Avery.com. A website which um, provides free templates over th a thousand free templates and you can just pick and choose what you want and then here's um, instead of my phone number I put special orders available so how I will price these um, so what I would do is I'm going to be selling them individually for three dollars a piece and then I will sell them three um, for um, eight dollars so a dollar cheaper so the bargain price of course is three so make sure you have um, some kind of like bargain price for your customers and individual prices as well so if you have any questions just um, put something in the comment section below and you can find all of the um, Stampin' Up! products at my online store which is inspiredbygram.com Thanks for watching and I look forward to video number two coming next month in the month of March 2021. All right, you guys take care and be well.